So, you know, the, the reason I really got into uh, collecting is because Frank Miller. So, uh, should I tell the story? We are going to Bulletproof Comics today in Brooklyn at the Junction by Brooklyn College. And the owner, Hank, has invited us to his gallery. So he's got original artwork upstairs. Uh, a lot of Gabriel Del Otto exclusive uh, works. So he invited us up. We're going to go check it out. So come with me. And uh, we'll see what he's got up there. It's gonna, I think it's going to be kind of fun, actually. And we'll go upstairs to the secret gallery. All right, let's go. see the gallery by appointment only usually a 24-hour notice it is mostly gabriel del Otto, but there are other things in here let's meet the owner hank but some of these pages that you have around like bishop like you just over the years have picked up some pages or are you, you going to start getting like original artwork that's just one of one that's not you know if you have a comic book you have one of six thousand yeah so actually these are about about 20 27 28 years old so i used to collect when i first opened the store uh, and, uh, you know, I just, it just evolved. So, you know, the, the reason I really got into uh, collecting is because Frank Miller. So, uh, should I tell the story? Did you know Frank Miller? I don't know Frank Miller, so, but uh, he was, uh, the reason I, I have a story is because Frank Miller. And um, I uh, went to my first signing at the planet, Forbidden Planet, you know, and uh, he just finished uh, a book called Ronin. And, I heard that he was signing at the planet, and I, I've never been to a signing. I didn't know what to expect, so I grabbed my 25 copies of Ronin, and I head to uh, the planet. And the, the line was ridiculously long. It wrapped around the block, the original location, and I got in the back, and the line was really moving fast. So you know, after a couple of minutes, maybe half an hour, I got in, and they, they tell me, "Oh, you're limited to five books. You can't get more than five books signed." So. I said, oh, you know, I said, all right, I'll just, you know, give him five and then I'll hold them to the rest. And when I get there, surprisingly, he was very young. You know, I, I was a kid, but you know, he was a very young guy. I was very surprised. And then he had all his artwork behind him. And you know, he was just signing away. And then I give him my five and I put my other stack like behind it. But he just signed, he just signed the whole 25, you know? And, and then, you know, my heart is racing, I'm, I'm such a, in awe of him, you know, he's such a, you know, one of the greatest you know, artists and writer of all time, right? So I, uh, I asked him, oh, Mr. Frank Miller, um, I'm a big fan, um, how much is that page? Because, you know, I brought a lot of money with me, you know, because I used to, I used to make a lot of money, you know, I used to work with my dad. And, and I'm pretty sure they were for sale. So he had the pages from Wolverine and Dead Devil behind mm. him, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm almost 99% sure that they were for sale, so uh, I asked him. Uh, Mr. Miller, how, how much uh, is that page behind you? So he looks up, he looks back down, and he goes, it's not for sale, kid. Just like that, he said, kid. It, 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 like, I said, wow, he said, kid. I was like devastated, you know? It was a kind of, you know, like a bad, you know, like a kind of a negative moment. So I, I, didn't, I didn't react. I just said, okay, thank you. I took my books and I just went home, you know? <laughs> but ever since then, it kind of created a, uh, uh, like a, I guess need for me to collect art. So, uh, you know, Frank Miller inadvertently, you know, started me on a, you know, a road to collecting artwork. Mm. Because I couldn't get that page. Can you imagine if I got that page? Uh, was that mid '80s or was it early '90s? It was uh, before '90. It was much before I had to start. So it was yeah, mid '80s. Yes. Yeah, Ronin, wow. Ronin, Ronin number one came out. Nice. And uh, funny thing is, it didn't get. It wasn't critically acclaimed. People hated it because the style was so different. Yeah. So so he was. Going more avant-garde, mm. you know, his line work was more clean, and uh, he was experimenting, and people just hated it. And then, you know, a few years later, he came out with Dark Knight, you know. But uh, that that Ronin was not, you know, not a lot of love for that book.
if Game of the Auto exclusively be like covers, or because yeah, I, I don't think I've seen an inside, so I don't think I've seen the inside. Does. I think he did like two or three. He did something called X Force Sex and Violence. Uh, incredible. Hey, this is it. This is part of it. Sex and Violence. Uh, and then he did uh, uh, Spider Man Family Business. Oh, okay. But he doesn't really do too much interior. He does. Uh, yeah, he just became cover. You know, became a cover artist because I, I think he could do more, and, and he becomes more well known. He, he's in demand, bro, as a cover artist. I mean, he's a Pia. These are unbelievable, right? Because these are all from the death metal. Right, from the death metal. And these are, I had to get permission to uh, print them this size. Mm. Uh, so we don't sell them. But these are only for... Because uh, I see this everywhere, man. Right. That Batman. Right, so those... This is, this is the first one we ever did. And this is the first one we ever did. Uh, this is uh, probably 95, 96. And uh, this is the second one we did. And I, I bought this from a guy in, guy in uh, Canada. Yeah, actually, I, I, I tried to buy this from uh, Gap, from Delato, so I sent them an email through, in, uh, through DC. I had to send the email to DC, and then he replied a year later, I'm sorry, sold. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, was very, I was devastated, and so I bought this, which is, uh, is uh, we did the, that's the second commission he did for, for us. Awesome. Yeah, sort of a lot of very, very nice. But thanks for letting me come in here. You know, I appreciate it. I think this this is a, just just became a cover. That's a his, his homage to uh, Death Dealer. So this is going to be a new cover coming out. It came out for Death Dealer. This is a, a one in twenty five ratio variant. Oh, ah, okay. And then uh, you got this. This is uh, he he did this for me. I asked him. I didn't know he was going to do it. I sent him a pair of sneakers. I said, hey, uh, can you uh, draw something on it? He goes. Uh, he said okay. I was shocked. I didn't think he was gonna say yes. Yeah, that's killer. Everything is dedicated to uh, Gabriel Delato. Uh, probably the, one of the top modern masters. How did you get a relationship with him? Did you pick the artist you want to work with? Uh, no, I got lucky. Uh, this is about six years ago. Uh, DC called me and they were, they were starting a new program, the uh, Variant Cover Program. Uh, hey, let's do a cover. So they give me a list of all the artists, and then I took a look, and none of them really jump, jumped out at me. So they were good artists, I mean, they were really big names, but none of them uh, jumped out at me. So I asked them, hey, do you know a guy, uh, Gabriel Delato, can you get him? And my boss at the time, I think he Vince Lodurio, he goes, no, no, absolutely not. He's a mobile artist, we can't get him. I said, oh, you know what, I, I might have to pass that. I, I would only want to work with him. So he said, um, okay. So we left it at that. I didn't think of anything. Just, you know, went back to uh, you know, my routine. And then a month later, I get a phone call from Vince. He goes, oh, we got you Delano. I said, he did? How'd you get him? So he goes, oh, well, uh, Jim Lee used to live in Rome, in Italy. And he said he's working in a studio. And he used to work with uh, Delato. Oh, that's pulled him up. But hey, you should do this cover. And uh, Delato agreed. So, the rest is history. Oh, man. A lot, seven, of, a lot of luck involved. Seven degrees, six degrees of separation, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm wow. going to thank Jim Lee, too, you know, for uh, <laughs> brokering the deal. That's fantastic. And then, you, do you get to pick some of the books? Like, you have that famous Action Comics 1000 cover this with is, Superman on the yeah, phone. the original. Yeah, so, I mean, do you get to pick what, what book do you want, to, the uh, issue you want to do, or? Yeah, so we, we, we uh, commission it. If he agrees, he'll do the cover. Uh, and then the you know, rest is up to him. You know? And a lot of death metal stuff. You like the death metal? Or you think it yeah. fits with his style? His like uh, yeah, so medieval style? Medieval style, he's very dark. If you notice, his stuff is you know a little darker. And you know, I mean, everything is original. You know? It's uh, composition and it's uh, like brush strokes and lighting. It's just unbelievable. You know? and, uh, you know, in my opinion, I think he's the best in the world. And then if people want to get into it, what do they do? They can buy a print or they can get it framed? You can choose what you want to... Uh, oh, yeah. So we, we have the gallery here. Sorry for the mess. Uh, the, you know, like here, they could buy anything uh, off our website. So they could buy the print. We'll ship it to them. Or if they want it uh, framed, uh, you know, they choose the matting and we'll frame it to them. Uh, usually, we don't like to 
you know, ship it out frame because this glass involved, you have to do extra padding. But we do do. You know, we recommend them just getting the, you know, uh, sign let go. And we always, we always, we always uh, give them a certificate like this. Get a certificate for each. Oh, cool. Signed it though. And, uh, so they're all signed and numbered. Yeah. Not numbered. Some of them, but this, you know, most of them are not numbered. Uh, but you know, uh, you would get a certificate, and uh, you know, they, they frame it themselves. All right, he's got a bunch of stuff around the gallery here. He's got some statues and statuettes, and he's got some comic books. He's got a bunch of uh, Valiant. I think he has a relationship with uh, Valiant also. And here are some signed uh, Gabriel Delatos, right? And there's that uh, Action Comics 1000, that famous cover. Stabity Bunny, some indies. The Akira uh, homage there, cover homage. And uh, he's got a bunch of uh, indies and uh, variants. Right? Artwork is really terrific, right? And behind me, you can see the scale. If you want to see the scale of the uh, the uh, artwork, and he had a little, um, you know, he's got a bunch of uh, trade paperbacks, and uh, and Hank, the owner, has his own comic. Look, he's got a variant cover. Bulletproof Comics presents. And there's separate prints. You see the stack of them? There's a stack of like 30 there. So you can get them separate or you can get them uh, with a frame. I love that Joker, right? Isn't that cool? And this Harley Quinn is cool too. Right? Gabriel Delato is like classically trained. So it looks very uh, like Renaissance. And then he had some slabs up here. Fantastic Four, some classics uh, issues. Kind of cool little gallery. I thought it was something different for my channel. Uh, I thought I would show you guys. And there's the covers now. We saw the pr we saw the prints in the original artwork. Now you're seeing it on the comic. The Dark Knight's metal. He does a lot of metal and the uh, death metal series. That Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo... Uh, miniseries here's a Nick signed basketball pretty cool right and there's a close up of the sneakers with Batman and Joker looks like these are getting ready to get shipped out right he's got some orders that are getting shipped Look at this awesome Spidey, right? All the iterations of Spider-Man. And it looks like it's on a scroll, like a Japanese scroll. Look at the length of that. Very cool, right? There's some Punisher. And he's got some uh, original uh, pages, too. So I guess he used to collect original pages here. It looks like this is Superman Wonder Woman. I think this is going to be the future of comics because you, you, you buy a page, you own the original. It's one of one. Whereas a comic book, if you look on the CGC census, there's a Thor hammer. The comics are like, you know, one of 10,000. Or even keys, like ASM 300 or uh, the first Punisher, ASM 129. Those books are so all over the place. They're not rare. There's like 10,000 of them. But if you get artwork, it's like one of a kind. Pretty reasonable, right? Is that uh, Winter Soldier? Silver Surfer, pretty cool. Oh, here's the Secret Wars here, right? On the bottom. Here's the uh, Symbiote Spider Suit. Right, a ton of original prints here you can pick up, the Action Comics 1000. And here is an, another original page. This is like a Captain America page. I think this will be the future of comic book collecting because you have one of one and not a comic book slab. You have one of 10,000, you know, if you look on the CGC census. I think the future of comic collecting might be original artwork 
And look at this beautiful thing here. This is a Gabriel Del Otto portfolio, Gotham Crimes. And you open this up, and it's like a prestige format of the artwork. It's really well done, right? Very high end. Here's a nice size too, Wolverine and Spidey. It's a nice size to hang on the wall, right? And uh, more the Batman who laughs. I really liked him, the Batman who laughs. I know some people got tired of him, but I thought um, that miniseries was terrific, and uh, metal and uh, death metal were great too. I thought. So we should really uh, open the space here and utilize it. He could do a lot of business up here. And this is just to give you guys some scale, right? Here's another original artwork that looks like, what is that, Bishop from X-Men? Civil War II. That Spidey really looks terrific, right? It looks like the paint is wet, right? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, go to my channel. Check out my other uh, videos. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video.